time. So let me paint the scene. It was 2016. <laughs> no, seriously, it was 2016, right? My son comes downstairs and I'm at the, the corner of my living room where I used to work. And he's like, mom, um, mom, um, mom, which is something that kids do. Okay. If you are mom, let me know. Cause you, cause you know. And so I'm like, Ryan, I'm doing something. It's time for you to get to bed. Look at the time. Get to bed. And he says, but mom, I didn't eat any dinner. Y'all, I was devastated. My poor baby. I got up and I made him food. And as he was sitting in the dining room, I was in the kitchen and I started crying. Tears just rolling down my face as I'm putting the cold cuts. I think I had made him a sandwich. I remember what, like it was yesterday. Um, and I was just thinking like, this couldn't be it. I wanted to be an entrepreneur so I could create a better life for my kids. And here I am yelling at my kid because I'm at this computer 24 seven. I'm giving myself migraines. I'm not even feeding my kid because I want to grow this business. This couldn't be what it is. This couldn't be what it's supposed to be. That's the night everything changed for me. That was the night that I started really focusing on structuring my business in a way that, you know, worked around my life and not my life around it. And even though at that time I was still working my way up, you know what I mean? And I was working hard. I realized that me staying up all night wasn't giving me an extra client. Me neglecting my kids wasn't making me any extra money. If anything, it was causing more, you know, struggle and, and, and drama in my household. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm focused on helping women structure their business for profit.